It's time to make cornbread stuffing. First thing we gotta do is get our cornbread rolling. The recipes that come on the little packages here, if you follow that recipe, just like it says, and you make a batch of it, the recipe that calls for one egg, the whole pan is going to have 2,388 milligrams of sodium. If you use the recipe that calls for two egg whites, there's more sodium in the whites than in the yolk, comes up to 2,448 milligrams in your cornbread before you do anything else. By the time we get finished with our cornbread, there's going to be 191 milligrams in the whole pan. The big difference is baking powder. When we look at recipes, they might say salt-free up there, but we have to look at the labels on our ingredients. Baking powder has got 520 for one teaspoon. Our recipe calls for two teaspoons. But cane featherweight baking powder does not have any sodium in it. Get this from Healthy Heart Market, Amazon, you have to order it. The shelf life is not as long as you might want it to be, but I called the company. Mm -hmm. They said put it in the freezer. I've had this for over a year, and it's working fine. Just ordered some more. Got to have this stuff. I'm going to mix up the cornbread according to my recipe. I look up every item that's in every recipe, either on the label or Google search nutrients in. Time to get started. I'm, I'm not always real exact, you know, so a uh, cup of cornmeal. I like the yellow. Yes. Cup of flour. Cup of flour. We're not putting any salt in here. Then, I'm not going to put the sugar in here because I'm using it for stuffing. But when you make muffins, you probably want to put the sugar in. One egg. You don't need as much oil as the packages call for. I just put in about two tablespoons. Or so. I like canola oil. We got that in. We need a cup of milk. I use 2%. And it depends on what brand you get. Sometimes there's 30 or 40 milligrams difference in a cup for sodium. Ah, now we're going to get two teaspoons of our beans. Baking powder. This is wonderful stuff. And they also have baking soda. Healthy Heart Market. Good place to go look. So mixing that up. Then whisk my egg and milk and oil together. Really makes good stuffing. You can use it with turkey, pork, chicken anything you want to. I'm going to throw a little pan in here. I like Banker's Joy, but my it's empty. Put this in the pan. Goes in my oven at 400 degrees for about 20 minutes. My Google search tells me that in one cup of cornbread, stuffing has 1,110 milligrams of sodium. Our whole pan, when we get finished with it, going to have less than 350. Cornbread's cooked, and I kind of crumbled it up a little bit. And for my bread, I'm using rice starch loaf. It comes from Healthy Heart Market, 
and it has no sodium. When the starch bread comes, on the label it says to either toast it or microwave it. Toast it twice in my, in my toaster. You don't have to add bread to the stuffing, but I just kind of like it. I'm going to just cut these rice loaf up, and then I'm going to pop this stuff back in the oven for about 20 minutes to dry it out a little bit more. It really makes good dressing. You don't have to add bread. You can do it with just the cornbread. Nature's own life has a honey wheat that for two slices is 130 milligrams of sodium. If you've got that to spend, you might want to check it out. But this is going to be good, just like this. Cornbread's ready. I've got the onions and the celery chopped up, cooked in unsalted butter until they're kind of translucent. Then I use Herb Ox Chicken Bouillon. Zero sodium. Comes from my grocery store or Walmart. Put six packages of this in three cups of water, bring it to a boil, but I'm using my bottled water because according to my water department, my tap water has between 35, 37 milligrams of sodium for one cup. So I'm using my bottled water. Then I've got some, I put about a quarter cup of parsley, two tablespoons of poultry, and two tablespoons of sage. It's all mixed up. I'm going to put it on here and mix it up. Then you taste it. If you want a little more sage, put a little more in it. If you want a little more parsley, put a little bit more in it. So I mixed it up right here on the cookie sheet. It's a whole lot more than what I need to cook for tomorrow's dinner. Oh, I'm going to put some in here. And then I'm going to use my little seal -a meal and freeze some for Johnny and I to have as size along the way. Big thing to remember is get your baking powder, zero sodium. Really good. This is going to be ready to bake at 350 degrees until it's a little brown on the top. It's going to be right good.